Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Witch Queen Season of the Risen Intel. And this video is going to be another quick PSA type video as the thing we're going to be talking about is this week's Grandmaster Nightfall, which was the Scarlet Keep. And we only have about 24 hours of this particular strike available for people who don't have an already filled out conqueror seal and are just going for the gilded title but if you are trying to attempt this solo either for that conqueror seal or maybe you're just trying to get a palindrome adept within the last 24 hours or just you know maybe some good materials these are a couple of easy glitches that will help you get through this a lot faster some of these are fairly new the first one is a skip for the first set of champions you can do this with a group or solo Simply follow that cliff's ledge all the way up to the top of the map till you get to this point. You will hit a turn back barrier. Just run through it. If you jump up on the ledge to the right, if you get too close to the turn back barrier uh, running out, you can actually bypass that and it'll just disappear. But in any case, you just want to run down and drop to this area and then turn back and hit this load zone. It's pretty simple. You'll get the progress for the champions because any ones that you don't actually get to spawn still count and you can just head through this whole area a little bit faster this is good for speed runs too if you're just trying to farm out materials maybe on a lower difficulty like master or heroic the next glitch is for the elevator section this is also good for solo or group runs simply use the ascend the throne emote or possibly the pop chair emote and you can actually glitch inside these towers that sit on the elevator. Or you could call them pillars that sit on the elevator. Just back up into them, activate the emote. You want to make sure that you can't actually see your character. So you're sort of glitching the camera inside the map when you do it. Always face away when you actually have the emote active. Back up into it, that is. This is the only one that I can confirm actually works, but... In previous glitches like this, the pop to chair emote actually also did the exact same thing as the ascend the throne emote. So you can try them both. There might actually be others that work too if you don't have either one of them. And then the last glitch I actually did share in a previous video this week. But if you didn't check that out, you can always go back and check out a few more tips and tricks in that video. But this is for just the boss room. And this is probably one of the better ways to actually cheese the boss. Um, it's pretty simple to do. It's grid for solo runs or in a group. But as you kill the two wizards and before the boss is spawning in, the gate will drop. All you want to do is make sure that you're right next to the gate when it does drop and you can actually get outside the map this way. Once you're outside, you can just make your way up onto the top of the map and then you can fire down on all the adds and the boss best way to make your way up is to find one of the corners where those little um, skulls are gathered and then jump up onto that ledge and then you can get up onto the top here. I like to make my way over to the left side just because there seems to be uh, a little bit of a invisible box on the right side that you can also jump up on top of and fire down on but it just saves me from having to accidentally clamber up and down occasionally. So these three glitches combined can certainly help with a speed run or with a solo run or if you are going for your Conqueror Seal or maybe you're trying to uh, go for your Gilded title and you just don't have this one yet. Um, these will make things a lot easier. And I actually think this makes uh, the Scarlet Keep a rather farmable strike even at higher level difficulties. I think the best way to farm any of these strikes if you're just going for materials is to just do it on the um, master difficulty rather than the grandmaster difficulty. And that's going to be it for all the information in today's video. Hopefully you found something helpful. If you like more Destiny 2 Witch Queen Season of the Risen content like this, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on all post notifications. That bell, it's right next to the big red subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. Or leave a comment or any of the hashtags listed directly beneath this video in the comments section down below. That'll also enter you into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel. We do one every thousand subscribers, so you never want to miss out. 
Thanks so much for watching once more. And as always, I am Wilhelm Scream. Of course, we will see you next time. Little.